welcome to the Northern Knits podcast. We're two friends in fiber who knit, craft, crochet, and tuck everything in between. My name is Jocelyn and my co-host is Diana. It's episode 311 and we've already been live on the internet for an hour today. <laughs> it's been a day. <laughs> I'm is... caffeinated. Oh, oh it's too late in the day for me to be this caffeinated. Oh dear. I know. I know. Like, did you realize the time? Guys. No, I didn't. It's early Sunday afternoon. We just finished our live spring equinox knit with us cast on party uh mostly because tomorrow from our perspective is the equinox on the monday uh but diana works so do i so <laughs> there are nine to five jobs we just who needs those we just bumped it back a day totally fine so you guys are gonna be watching this on the wednesday and we're going to talk about everything we've been working on i currently call winnipeg manitoba home and diana currently calls waterloo ontario home so while i continue to drink my tea and you continue to realize that you're on your second cup of coffee on a Sunday afternoon. Why don't you let everybody know what we're going to knit, we're knit today, what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> well, we're going to talk about our knitting today. Uh, we got some what's in our cup, I'm sure. And I, oh, you know, yeah. didn't actually make show notes. So we might have some cool threads. We definitely have some woolly workings and we will definitely have some wool gathering. <laughs> I neglected to make show notes. <laughs> We've already been talking for an hour, so I just kind of forgot that we hadn't done it yet. <laughs> Whoops. It's great. We're off to a great start. Whoops. It's fine. We'll wing it. It's fine. That never goes poorly for us at all. In my service, I made a big old cup of uh, Lemon Lift. It is a big low tea, which is notoriously difficult to get a hold of in Canada and easy to get a hold of America, which annoys me because it's a really good tea brand. <laughs> so have you, have you found a, a tea dealer? To shunt some over the border for you yeah yeah because yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how my life works people i have a buddy moving to thailand at the end of next month at the end of april and i literally looked at him and i go you know nothing about yarn he's like yeah bupkis i'm like absolutely zilch he's like yeah i'm like it's new zealand on one of those i need to finish filling my passport lists he's like it is i'm like could I send a yarn request? He's like, you could. He's like, I will be that white man going to the yarn store and everyone's going to think I'm buying for my wife. I'm like, I don't care. He's like, neither do I. He's like, what do you want? I'm like, oh, oh, yeah. It's the New Zealand version of uh, that super soft yarn that starts with a C. Oh, I can't help you. I don't know. Everybody but hey, New it. Zealand yarn. But I don't want to pay from shipping from New Zealand. Oh gosh, no, nobody does. And he's just going to go teach in Thailand for, this is his thing, guys. Like he goes and he teaches in other countries for like a year or two. He loves doing it. Like passionate as all get out about it. It's his, it, like, that's his career choice. So I'm like, he's like, yeah, I'll pop in. He's going to pop into four countries all the time around wherever he's teaching. He's like, yeah. He's like, I'll keep an eye out. And I'll just, he's like, I'll buy yarn and tell you how much you will be. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, yeah, I'll buy you all sorts of weird yarn. No problem. He's like, and then I'll just bring it home with me when I come home. Yes. amazing he's like okay, a family well, I'm your friends of your, stop uh, by yarn he's, dealer. Like, he's like i'll just ship it home with them yes i'm like I'm your brothers your yarn dealer are not gonna understand he's like no the fact that i will see the look of confusion on their face brings me great joy totally willing to do this <laughs> Perfect. i'm like would you like mittens and a hat when you come home he's like yes i will pick yarn for mittens and a hat <laughs> pick yarn you tell me that that's your hat and mitten yarn and I will make you a pair of hat and mittens. Very excited. He's like, I'm never getting socks. I'm going to give a size 14 foot. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. Absol no. <laughs> Absolutely it's not, not happening. I will make you a hat. I will make you mittens. If you are kind to me, I will make you a sweater because I don't mind doing that. He's like, he's only like six foot four. He's not even that much bigger than me. Not a problem. I'm totally fine to do this. This isn't this isn't an issue for me. I've offered, guys, I've offered to make my cousins, like I got a cousin who teaches and he really wants to be like that old man professor teacher. Like he wants the sweater, vest, bow, tie, math teacher look. Like that's his oh vibe. God, yes. The boy's 27. That's his vibe. I love it. And he's currently <laughs> on the hunt. So when he finds the perfect yarn, he knows how much he needs to buy so that his cousin can make him a vest because i did Perfect. the math i'm like i will need this much yarn if you go with this style i will need this much yarn if you go with this style for your size again he's like six foot three six foot four i know a lot of really big white dudes that's how it works I'm like i will absolutely help enable you to this bow tie sweater vest experience that you wish to have in your life absolutely <clears throat> 
And the friends yes. and family discount is an equal amount of yarn you purchase for yourself for me to have to make something else. Which is it's just it's a very great deal. It's a great deal. I love crafting and I craft fairly heavily. I'm at the point where I've crafted enough that I need to start crafting for others. <laughs> I'm rapidly reaching that same point. I have a lot of things now. So I'm like, I've actually been thinking about Whoa. destashing some of my old shawls that I never wear. Mm-hmm. Well, taste change over the years, right? Like personal taste change. Well, yeah. so, so like I'm, I'm at that point too. I was looking and I was like, I love these things, but they don't fit my aesthetic now. So mm-hmm. like, it makes sense to change it. So that's what I want to do. Yep. But anyway, I'm drinking tea. This is how we got here. <laughs> we got here. This with is how tea. we got here. This is how we got here. Uh, I do have some cool threads, but what are you drinking? I have some more of my Jamaica coffee with my Jamaica rum cream. In my mushroom cup. Oh, you were going to be so wired tonight. <laughs> so wired already. I didn't need, I was. I woke up wired. I did not need coffee today, but here we go. A second cup. Hey, listen, <laughs> I, I poked your head in. Cream. You poked your head in the screen. It was like, I need a second cup of coffee. and left and I went second cup. But I don't think you heard me. <laughs> no, I didn't because was... I didn't have my headphones in. There was I, a... I saw you talking. I'm like, you're judging me. I don't need to listen to this. It was more of a... <laughs> I was more of a, are you sure? Because you're going to be very caffeinated. <laughs> well, cause this is an eight ounce <sighs> cup. Yeah. And there was only enough coffee left for about another half a cup. So That's not too bad. I've only had about 12 cups, <laughs> which is 12 cups, 12 ounces, which is about the size of a standard modern cup of coffee. Like if somebody has a mug of coffee, it is typically 10 to 12 ounces. So I've had a perfectly normal amount of coffee. It's just in a smaller cup. Yes, I've had 12 cups of coffee. I'm going to fly now. I feel like that word slippage just proves my point. (laughs) Yeah, I'm really not helping my case. Oh Lord! Uh, Not I do helping have some myself. Cool, I do have some cool threads. I've been wearing my uh, find your fate shawl, uh, out and about when I run errands. Uh, and then for D and D, I wore my um, Mallow cardigan. My habanero currently sits on the back of my computer chair, so like I wear it all the time. But my Mallow cardigan went out t- this week. I've been wearing uh, on the back of my chair. I've been wearing the sweater that you gave me that I don't remember the name of, the crocheted gray stripy one. You'd have to hold it up, I don't recall. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, the sweater I stole from you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair, that's fair. I've been wearing that. And I pulled out my flax sweater to go to knitting group on Thursday. Nice. Which was initially a great choice because it was like eight degrees. Yes. Um, So I sat on the patio at the coffee shop for a while because it was really busy inside and I showed up kind of really early um so i could finish out the work day and then just go straight into knitting group which was a solid plan but i ended up sitting outside for a while and the sweater was perfect like i rolled up the sleeves and sat in the sun and it was great Ugh. um but then i went inside and it was really warm because <laughs> i was still sitting in the sun now in a worsted weight wool sweater it was really warm and i expired a little <laughs> but it was perfect for outside good good Good. Oh yeah, black sweater by Tin Can Knits. Solid, solid sweater. Yeah, yeah that sweater served you well. I need to do something about the neckline because it's rapidly turning into a boat neck. I think what I need to do is just weave because after I cleaned up all of my everything behind me, I found more of the gray yarn that was the contrast for the yeah head, for the cuffs collar and, collars. and stuff. Yeah. So I think I just need to take a string of that and weave it in at the base of the collar and just like cinch it back closed because yeah. <laughs> it's, it's rapidly turning into a boat neck <laughs> yeah that's not your style no especially because it's wool so i do need to wear a shirt underneath it <laughs> it just looks kind of funny yeah no we definitely need to fix your collar edge yeah okay, okay. uh i don't have okay for me, I have an average amount of whips. For me, I have an average amount of whips, and that is an average that is smaller than your average. I'm going first. Uh-huh. Going first. Got it. 
Uh, I'm going to start with my finished object. Yes, let's have it. Let's have the finish. Once I'm done knitting on this round of toes, of uh, sock, because I hate putting sock down mid-half. mid, mid half. It's hard. Oh, can't have I, that. I, I magic loop my socks, guys. But I'm mid-half. I just, I don't, I don't like doing it. It's not that you so can't I'm do it. So I just don't like doing it. So in it. Is that Briggs and Little or is that that? No, that's that uh, one out by that's you. That's the, the Twin Oaks farm. Yeah. Uh, the local farm. Which is fine. I, I love the yarn. It is not a problem that there's so much hay in it. It's just like, ow, oh, that's sharp. <laughs> Register is there. Okay. I got through half a sock. Half a sock round. All right. I finished my huge tube. Tube. It's huge. This is super random. Do you remember those like yogurt tube commercials from like the 90s? Tube. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> this is one cake of worsted acrylic carrot cake in a wonderful harvest color range. So you got your nice taupey beige, your deep taupey beige, your pumpkin oranges. It's very, it's very fall. It's very, very fall. Uh, I did I use all of the two, all of the yarn? No, no, no. I got to the point in the ball where you start getting the knots, and I went, <laughs> "I'm done with you." And I bounced off the tube. That's fair. I mean, it's still a huge tube. This much progress in one week. That's a lot. That's, Critical that's role like... was very stressful this week and a bit. Very stressful. I'm still behind on certain got However, four episodes to go. The benefit is, is now that I know I really like the drape on this loose of a gauge. Mm -hmm. Really like the drape. There's that on the beach pullover striped uh, pattern by wordage. Isabel Kramer. Okay. And it's a very limited size run. It's a free pattern. That's fine. I don't mind. I'm just thinking. Make it on a worsted weight yarn at this gauge swatch. Okay. 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 Not for the beach. Not Follow. for the summer. But at this loose of a gauge, I might be able to wear the pullover and get enough breathing in that I don't overheat. Because that's always been the big problem with pullovers is that it's a nice gauge to keep you warm. But I am but already, you've already got that covered. warm. So if I do like a summer weight where you're making it because you want the breathability, would okay. that help? Would that help? I don't know. It's an experiment. So I'm going to experiment and I'm going to uh, make an excruciatingly drapey <laughs> Sweater. When? Nice. I don't know. Out of what yarn brings a little. When will this happen? Guys, at some point, I'm busy. <laughs> However, I do have a huge tube which folds up lovely. Will I keep it? Or it might go into the gift box. I might keep it. I don't know. I enjoyed making it. Will there and be I more finished. huge tubes in your future? Possibly in different weights of yarn. Because this was a really nice, relaxing project. Uh, it does count for the one skein project for the month for the Fiber Friends this month. So, Oh, nice. I need to uh, wash and uh, weave it ends. But otherwise, we're done. And yes, I can at this stitch count stretch it out and wear it across my chest. <laughs> Which is not what it's meant for. <laughs> You'll have seen it in the freaking photos. The thumbnail. I'm under the tube, guys. I'm in the tube. I'm in the tube in the thumbnail photo. So that is my first project. Done. Done. I should mention, I didn't actually technically like work work on it. But I finished pre-drafting my bat. One of my 50 gram bats from Erin of Fiber Week Co. that I bought a while ago. That I have been slowly spinning. So I can now try to get back into the habit of spinning for 10 minutes a day. Nice, nice. That's my goal. 
I also have to, no, you can't see it. <laughs> Tucked up way up in there is my laser kit. Yes, and I can kind of see it. It's got two, two of its, uh, what are they called? Bobbins? Bobbins, you are correct. Two of the bobbins have uh, spinning on it ready to ply. They've definitely been resting more than 24 hours. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, tw 24 weeks, months? Weeks, easily, easily. So I need to ply those. Uh, before I finished my first 50 grams there. So I bought two 50 gram bats. I don't remember the name of the colorway and I don't want to deal with the plastic to look. Guys, it's a Fireweed Fiber Co. We know, you know, everybody knows we love Aaron's stuff for a reason. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. It is fun to work with. We have a coupon cold. Cold? Code. Oh my We're doing word. great. So good. Doing great today fantastic just yep it's gonna be one of those days it's northern it's 10 save yourself 10 percent. enjoy some nice yarn and we were doing the math by the time you're done buying a commercial yarn and shipping it to yourself you might as well have bought the ndr <laughs> yeah and with that depressing information i just fully fully justified Nothing but excellent yarn for the rest of my life. Cool beans. So that's that's one that I mentioned. Do you have two? I've got two real things, and then just like I'm gonna I'm gonna clump some stuff together. So I, I have three clumps. I have four more things. Why don't you do another thing? Okay. <laughs> Been very monogamous this week. On Thursday, this past Thursday, there was the Thursday night check-in with Louise for the May to month motivation. And I didn't have anything really easy to hand that I could start working on. So, you know what that means, right? Just cast, cast on, on something. So from the stash of the Air and Fireweed Fiber Co. Sock Yard, I grabbed this one, which is adult romance something. Guys, listen. It's something Sweet romance. romance. I remember this Sweet discussion. Romance. Sweet romance. Sweet romance. And I got just one skein of it. This is going to make socks. Because so I was like, that's a lovely sock yarn. It's a lovely color for socks. Look what I'm right. Look at that sock. Look at that yes, sock. That's gorgeous. I love it. The problem is now, Approve. I think it would look good next to my face. Oh, yes. So now I'm I starting agree. to think I need a sweater quantity worth mm. of this sweet romance colorway. I would have to agree. We're here to enable each other professionally, folks. <laughs> <laughs> we are professional enablers. I mean, isn't yeah. that just what being an influencer is? Like, you professionally enable people into buying stuff? Pretty much, yeah. But, like, look, that at they their wanted rotations. Anyway? look at their rotations of pink. Like, it's not... It's not, like, super... Oh. I want to say frou-frou, which makes no sense to anybody but my mother. No, I know what you mean. But it's not like it's not like frilly and like it's soft. Not, it's not ice cream soda shop pastelli. Like it's got some depth to it. I gotta yeah. hide my face so it focuses on the other yard. And it's got a beautiful color rotation. So it's just it's got some gravitas, people. Yes, it is a very nice pink. And it's quite it's loud. It's the right kind of loud for me. So I am happily, these are going to be shorties because I think the reason I don't want to work on my longer socks is because they're longer socks. And my brain's like, you need shorties. I don't know why you ever cast on longer socks like, because they always winter, end up being shorties anyway. In the winter, I need the full length um, yeah, for winter boots and stuff. But I'm at the point where I'm getting ready to do sneakers full time. And in sneakers, you just need shorties. That's fair. So... That's where we're at with my thinking process, which is totally fine. So, you know, one more sock cast on and yet no more finishes for socks. I'm sure Austin's stoked. That leaves me with three <laughs> projects and you with two. So you should probably go. All right. Uh, I'm going to start with my clump of items. The, cl the clump of small things. One, my background's different. I organized. If you want to watch me chaotically organize my everything, 
which wasn't even everything actually i still haven't done my closet (laughs) anyway if you want to watch the manic organization uh that live streams up on youtube (laughs) so i organize things so that's great there was much drama Uh, there was there was a little bit of panic as i dropped things and there was a little bit of panic as I wasn't sure if I could actually change the height of the shelves because they probably haven't moved since the 80s. They were a little bit sticky, uh, but we figured it out. And of <clears> course, <throat> my supporting laughter in the background. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yes. Um. What was, oh, yeah. I frogged some stuff so that mm-hmm. I could cast on for our spring equinox uh, knit with us. It's true. You did. So I, 100% the things that I ripped out, I had thought that I had already ripped them out. Like they were marked as frogged on my Ravelry projects. So it was like a no-brainer decision. Um, so the safe spaces blanket that probably got mentioned once last year, because I got like four hexagons done. Yep. That got ripped out. That's going to become something else. Um, and the medic hat that I started at one point because it was blue and my nails were blue and I found a blue hook and it was all just very blue and very like Pinterest Instagrammy and but then I came to the conclusion that I don't I'm not really in a slouchy hat place anymore so um the medic hat went away fair nothing wrong with the hat or the pattern or the yarn all beautiful um I just realized I don't need another slouchy hat in my life uh so those two got ripped out so that I could start the spring equinox knit along. Um, but I'm going to make everybody wait for that one because that that was my first clump of things. Oh, sorry. My other clump of things is, and this sock, this sock that I, yeah, I knit like, I knit an inch on a sock. Yeah, Yay. there we go. We're all sick of hearing about the red wing blackbird sock for Mr. Diana. Um, but to talk about colors for a second, it's black with red and yellow micro stripes with yellow uh, contrasting heels, toes, and cuffs. The yarn's from Fireweed Fiber Co. Um, and it's beautiful, and I highly recommend it. But we're all sick of hearing about it, so I'm going to stop talking about that. Oh, that's where my snips went. There we go. I knew I put those smartly in a place. You know, you put things in a safe place that makes mm-hmm. sense. Mm-hmm. So you'll find them again. I and So I, never, I found them. I found my snips. Them again? Yeah. Oh, I found them. Safe spaces. Yeah. Yeah. Safe places. That's all. Yeah. All the safe places. Um, okay. All right. That okay. was my clump of stuff. Okay. Rapid fire. Rapid fire? That was my rapid fire first clump. Your turn. I was watching Jada Stitches and she was she did a live stream where she made a little a little crocheted fabric. It's not a bag. A little box thing. Basically. A box thing? We make those cute little fabric storage boxes and stuff that you can put things in. I made oh, one for okay, you okay. years ago to use for sweaters, like a project bag. Oh, yes, I found that. Yeah. Um, And it's now in a basket. So I'm making a little small version of it to uh, actually contain <laughs> corral, collect strap down all of my ribbon for sewing ribbon you need one just for ribbon yeah i have that much ribbon wow so i'm holding three strands of random acrylic that i happen to hold just own on a tight dense gauge and this is my base of my little bat it's a basket it's a crocheted basket just the little baskets that's the word i'm looking for so it's two strands of a very dark colors that I can't tell what they are, and one strand of blue. And it's a light blue, so boy, it pops. <laughs> so I'm almost done my base, since I want this to be square to fit into the shelf space. And when I fold this in half, you can see I don't have that much far to go before I have a square base. Nice. That I can build up the sides of this bad boy. So I'm not building it like I'm not making a very tall or deep basket. It's just going to be tall enough that my wound ribbons and stuff can get sorted. And then that way they're not trying to attack me while I'm sewing. Uh, Yeah. 
Yeah. Don't don't need to be attacked by ribbon while you're sewing. Yep. Yeah. Are my edges very clean and tidy? Nope. Am I worried about it? No, nope. because I'm gonna have to crochet around my edges and build up my box. So it's fine. But I needed a way to start using scraps. And this uses three strands of scrap all at the same time. Perfect. Six of ten inches. Could I have had this done probably like an hour like Jada did hers? Yes, I find it a hard on my wrist to work at this tight of attention or anything like that. That's time. totally fair. So I have to break the project down. But if it turns out as well as I'm hoping it will, I will continue to just randomly make fabric boxes out of scraps to corral other sewing supplies, like my zippers. That makes a whole lot of sense. So, because I have that nice little shelving unit for it. So I'm like, let's make it decorative and pretty. So I started working on that. I don't know, guys. It's scrap worsted acrylic. I don't know where it came from. Two very dark colors, possibly a dark blue or a, like a navy and a black. I can't tell the difference anymore. And a really light blue skin. Done and done. On my seven millimeter hook. All right. I have two more things. How are you doing? I also have two more things. You're up. Do we want the spring equinox or do we want the podcast anniversary knit along? Your choice. Well, that doesn't help. Well, okay. I just started a row on the podcast anniversary, so we're going to talk about the spring spring equinox. Okay. Because that's my new cast on. So I'm making for our spring themed knit along knit with us <laughs> for spring. Cast on something spring themed and just, you know, just join us in the joy of spring. We're not like prizing or anything. It's not a competition. We're just joining in the joy of spring. Yeah. Uh, so I picked Day Glow Rainbow. <laughs> it's so glowy in this light. Oh my God. So um, this that. does. It, uh, yes. It's, yeah, Ginger Snap. Um, this does react under black light. So it, it is absolutely super glowy this nail polish does too by the way God, it's great. what's the what's the name on that colorway electric zebra nice. nice yeah it's absolutely wild i love I it so much love it so that's a fingering weight so in good. um neon rainbow with a, it's got little marley um black it's marled with black in places not all the places just a few places so that's where the zebra comes in i think it's good it's, it brings me so much joy just looking at it i love oh, it i'm so happy i'm so happy about that yarn um that was the yarn i got in edmonton at the edmonton fiber frolic back in the fall in november yes uh, so I'm making the, don't get stuck on there, please. Trust me, I won't forget that fiber frolic. Someone gave me a really nasty flu. <laughs> yeah, I was sick when I came home <laughs> from that as well. I was sick oh. for the first time in three years. I was doing so well. I know. Oh, well. We survived and we, we had did. a good time. We did. Before we, we got sick. Time. Yeah. Uh, so I'm working on the Spring Valley Bandeau by... Goodness, I've forgotten her name already. Something with a J. Sorry, I have it in a tab right here. It's by what is your name? She's from Winnipeg. This is good. Is Janine. Good words? <laughs> Janine Miska. Uh, I think she also goes by Knits and Knots. Ooh, anyway, she's oh. a Winnipeg designer. She's been on my to make list for ages, and yes. I just conveniently found this free pattern, uh, and it happened to be by her, so that worked out really well. So. It's it's a bandeau. It's a tube top with a bit of ruching. So I'm going to make a big rectangle and then I'm going to sew it together into a tube and then you weave in some yarn and pull it tight to do the ruching. Uh, that's it. It's super simple. It's probably one skein. If it turns out that I need more than one skein, I have some black also from Ginger Snap that I can just add a black contrast stripe at the top for however much I need. It's true. And that will be great ideally i won't need the black but if i do need the black it'll look just fine just fine so i'm really excited about this project i'm about four rows in it doesn't seem to be doing any weird color pooling so far i mean we're four rows in so like we don't know yet but it doesn't seem to be doing to any... ask 
I love color pooling. I just love the look I don't, of it. I don't mind. Like, I, I like color pooling when it does something cool. I do mind it sometimes when it does something weird, but it doesn't look like it's doing anything weird. I think I might get a very vague spiral of colors. That's not too bad. I'm with you. I'm um, not over caffeinated, people. To be very clear on this. I'm highly caffeinated. I think I'm <laughs> talking about 50% faster than I normally do. So apologies. <laughs> if you're having to like adjust the speed of the podcast while I'm talking, I'm extraordinarily caffeinated. It's not that I'm tired. Pointing at things. I, it's not that I'm tired and I'm slow. She's just that fast today. I'm just that fast. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh my God, it's crazy. Anyway, there's rainbows and I'm happy. There's rainbows and I'm happy. You're using your two-piece hooking, crochet hook? Yes. Uh, where did that go? There it is. It's, it's that uh, blue dude from the pac -Man. Yeah. So I've got my ergonomic hook from two-piece hooking. Come on. Here we go. So it's got the little, it's got the little ergonomic bobbly things on the handle. It's got the little blue yep. ghost from Pac-Man. So cute. So cute. So cute. And it's uh <laughs> being all nice pastel colors. My hook is nice pastel colors. It's a nice contrast <laughs> to the ridiculous rainbow that this project is. Mm -hmm. So that is that is my current joy. Um it just makes me so happy every single time I look at it. So I even ha I have a project bag for it because I I it formerly held the Medicat which I frogged. Oh, nice. Um, the Medicat was also using this ball band that uh, Jen sent me ages ago. Yarn cozy. Uh, yarn cozy. Thank you. Not ball band. Yes, but yarn cozy. So it's like a stretchy tube that you can stick on the on stick your. Oh my God, words are hard. I just you stick your yarn cake just... <laughs> into the ball cozy to keep everything stuck together. Which I haven't done right now because I wanted to show off in the podcast. I'm saying a lot of words. I'm talking really, really quickly. And there's another hook in here that doesn't need to be in here. I should probably not put it in here. I'm gonna, I've got to shut up. Shut me up. Somebody mute me. I'm going to drink water now because I should do that. <laughs> Stop that. You're going to make me choke. I can't. It's like watching a train wreck. I can't take my eyes off of it. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I didn't have 20 cups of coffee or 12 cups of whatever cups of coffee I said. I swear it's been a cup, a small cup and a half. I mean, I believe you because I know how easily you're affected by caffeine. I'm not sure the internet at large believes you, but I know how easily uh, I know the internet you at large caffeine. doesn't believe me, but I swear I did not have 12 cups of coffee. What is my hair doing? This She's like this me. when I let her have too much sugar, too. Guys, oh my God. for my spring equinox day with us, I'm going to work in these beautiful blue and whites in the nested blues colorway from Cotton Care Cake. It's a cotton care cake. I have two of these balls. They're worsted. I'm holding double to make a bulky white yarn. And in a very calm tone of voice, I'm going to describe what I'm working on. Um, oh, gosh. We're supposed to be calm? Calm is not what we have here today. Calm is what you don't have here today. I am doing fine. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, how... for a walk after my oh, God, yeah, you need to you need to burn off some of that juice. Uh, I have got it marled together because I'm holding the two strands double, so you get this marled blue and white, which is this beautiful faded color. <clears throat> and That's looking I... really good have started on the grindstone tote by Tara Briggs. It is a free pattern. It makes a sort of boho 60s vibe beachy tote, which is definitely my summer dress vibe. Hardcore my summer yes. dress vibe. So I am making this to wear and use in the spring and summer with my uh, very 60s themed clothing, which I love in the summer. I love the boho maxi dress, stretch, slouchy stuff. Yes. That's not the go-to bag for the summer. I will be shocked. So will I. So I, I'm not using any of my two-piece hooking hook because I need a seven millimeter hook and I have one seven millimeter hook and it is from the crochet kit my great grandmother had that I inherited when she passed away. So on a ye old plastic hook that's so old, I have no idea where it came from. I am officially on row five. Nice. It's, it's a really easy pattern. It's a front paddle and a back paddle, and then you do your strap uh, and your sides and your bottom, I guess, basket, your bottom end of your purse all in one strip, and then you connect it. 
I'm just I'm so excited. Beautiful, easy construction, lovely, quick pattern. Yes. Giving me life today. I'm very excited for it. I may honestly just work on it the rest of today and just see how far I can get. Because I really want that bag to be finished. So pretty. I have so much hair in this project. <laughs> you see me like pulling a, an invisible strand. strand all the way across the frame. That's it's your hair. just one of my hairs. Yeah, just for days. Hair for, hair for days. days. I mean, I did start rewatching Fairy Good Tale, work. so I feel like rewatching Fairy Tale and working on the grindstone toad is gonna just flow really well today for me. And the good news is, is that means we have one more Diana to watch for her last project, and then I can talk about my last project. <laughs> you want to watch me flail around and try to find words? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> All right. I'm working on the podcast anniversary because some of that's supposed to be done in like, what, a week and a half, two weeks? Our Wait, last I need a calendar. Sunday, How? Our last Sunday recording is next Sunday. And it's the first, the following Saturday of April. So okay, so I have technically just uh, under two weeks. Just under two weeks, yeah. As of recording. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, it's a good thing I'm almost done the back panel. Then. Oh my god! And the front oh. panel is the one with all the cables on it. Oh my god! <laughs> but can I just look at how much progress I made this week? This is like a whole. 10 plus inches of progress. Thank you very much. You did very good. Especially after we told you that you needed a tented germ hole for a vest and you, we made you go measure sweater, so you agreed with us. Yeah, that was smart. I'm just realizing as I'm looking at this now, you can tell where I changed balls and that bothers me slightly. You absolutely <laughs> cannot tell up close, but you can kind of see it from farther away. Why didn't you alternate balls? Because they looked exactly the same and I didn't think cool. about it and that wasn't smart. Oh, anyway, it's on the back panel, so I will alternate. I've learned my lesson now. Alternate on the front. I will, I will alternate on the front, which is the part that everybody's going to see. Because nobody's going to yes. see the back and it doesn't matter. Yeah. Absolutely. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> um, I have shaped for the armholes. And right. I need... Uh, I haven't measured in a couple rounds, but I need three or four more inches of armhole. Okay. And then I can shape for the shoulders. Yes. And then the back panel's done. Oh, good. Then you're almost there, which is good. I'm almost there. If I oh, untangle my hair from the back of my chair, but if we just <gasps> hold that up kind of there-ish where the armhole goes. Yeah. Like, this, this is not this scientific super, in the slightest. This super is scientific. super precise measurement going on right now. Super precise. Anyway, let's not pull that too hard. Anyway, we can kind of see that it's like kind of it's kind of close as I do like a chicken thing. <laughs> oh, that's going on. What the is internet. wrong with me today? I love it so much. <laughs> she turned thirty-two and reverted to six. <laughs> ah, it's so huh. good. You know what we need? An outro. Or we need one of those, we need one of those failed attempts at <laughs> measurement. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 my stomach muscles are sore. I have lost so much today. I'm glad I can provide amusement. Oh, God. So good. All right. Oh, I am that mildly is... concerned that I can't keep a coherent adult thought. And I'm just like jumping around like a two year old. I I'm a chicken it. now. I love it so much. So much. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh. That's out of that uh, yard from that farm near you, isn't it? Yes. Uh, this is from Twin Oaks Farm. Colorway is purple heather. I believe it's a four ply worsted. Okay. I have two more balls of it. Um, and I have this much left to finish the back panel with. I'm gonna be closer on yardage than I initially calculated. This is possibly in part due to the fact that I had to knit like four swatches to get gauge for this project. Did you keep the if you swatches? remember in the beginning? I did keep the swatches. So I, if it comes down to it, I can unravel the swatches and use those. Yeah. Um, and it might come down to it, because like it might. it's close. It's close. 
Well, don't don't bust into your third skein to finish your back panel. Bust into a swatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But good oh, call. it's gonna look so good. So we're we're nearly done the back. Yep. So close to done the back. So and then I get to do the fun cable part, and then there's a V-neck. Oh, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be good. And you know what? I honestly just picture that over top of like one of those axolotl shirts you have. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I could definitely yeah. put this on top of the axolotl shirts. Just saying. Just saying. Guys. But actually, that would work because I think it's got a very similar uh V shape to what this is gonna have. Yep. If I remember the picture, you want to know what axolotl shirt we're talking about? It's I'm wearing it in the live stream where I organized my stash. Because I try to point behind me. Her best dad, 1940s, 1950s life in that shirt. Yeah, I don't think 1940s dads were wearing crop tops. Thank you. Um, but yeah, the giant axolotl, loud Hawaiian print. Print. Yeah. You know what is making me happy? But that's the dude. I have yarn ironed. And measurements to make an 18th century pirate shirt. Do what makes you happy. You know, I'm not <laughs> judging you. I'm making a poofy sleeved white pirate shirt. And technically, I mean, it's just an everyday yeah. man's shirt. But like, if I say pirate shirt, more people will understand what I'm talking about. Pirate shirt, poet shirt. Yeah. That shirt. That's what I'm making. I'm shedding. Oh my God. <laughs> ah! I love it so much. Just, just you're having a it's day. Chaos in my brain today. There's, chaos there's no, there's no chill. There's no chill. Look at this. Look at this ball of yarn. Just look at. I'm looking at it. What am I looking at? You are looking at the colorway. Do you love my insides? Oh yes. Which is February's tweed, uh, colorway from the technically like it's a sock yarn. It's like it's it's a yarn club, and I went DK based on a tweed base this year because i've got got a whole cubby of fingering weight yarns so i needed to get a different weight yarn this year uh i have started and i finished crocheting the main body part of my first fingerless mitten oh nice yeah, that's nice close didn't you just like make that in its entirety yesterday well i had the ribbed but yeah i had to re-knit the whole or crochet the whole hand body part while we were doing the e-knitted yesterday. So oh, I've right, got... Something. Went sideways. Uh, my, I screwed up my own pattern. Uh, I, I made a hole with some stitch markers to tell me where my thumb hole should be. So now I'm going to sew up the side of the body because I like doing that. And then it meant I didn't have to work on the round and move my stitch marker up every round or do increase out just makes my life easier if I do that so once it's sewn together I can then put a thought it's a rough estimate like once I've done this top bit I'll take the clip marker off put it on because then I've got it secured on the one side of the hand part and then I'll stick my hand in it and then give a proper this is where your thumb ends <laughs> marker to it so I'm going to uh, seam it up today or tomorrow and get the thumb done and try to have the second bit done for next week so that way i have some dk weight tweedy fingerless mitten goodness for springtime nice so those I are hope, gonna be lovely i know they are it's the wrong shade of like light colors to wear next to my face mm. kind of washes me out but it'll be fine on my hands because it's farther away from my face and oh yeah. oh this tweed yarn just gives me i'm so happy no i want to i'm so happy cast something on with it so i happy. don't know what yet which is why i haven't cast on with it you might be buying me but a it sweater would be something quantity. it would be glorious you might be buying me a sweater quantity the tweed base on the dk in mm. exchange for that uh, sweater uh, i'm using a four millimeter metal hook that i have the old basic four millimeter hook my ribbing was done on a 3.25 millimeter hook so it's all nice and rib-like. Rib-like? Rib-like. And I'm easily going to get it done with the 100 gram ball that I have. Because I am I didn't even use 40 grams, grams in the first hand. So once you add the thumb in, I'm, I'm doing fine for your heritage. So I'm very excited nice. by that. Yeah. That's the hardest part of that is the ribbing. 
Of course it is. Of course it's the ribbing that's the hardest part for me. It's just because it's on a smaller hook, so I have to go slower. <laughs> eh, what are you going to do? But that's my final project. That's it. You're out of project. Well, I am out of project, so I guess we're into wool gathering. It is. Oh! I have got to remember to try to enter the grindstone tote that I'm making into the cozy up knits cotton cow. Yes. Remember I'm that. Gonna, I'm, I'm gonna forget, guys. Remind me. I'm gonna forget. Because it's cotton. It counts. I think the only rule is that it has to be cotton and it can't be a dishcloth. I don't know. I haven't looked. I think I need to do that. I think I need to do that. Okay. I've, I've distracted us enough. What are we doing? We're doing words. We're doing words. What is what is my word of the day for the unscripted Patreon ad? Oh, I've got it forgotten. It's okay. I've got the document open. I can look. Let's take a look. Coffee's Painting. been sitting here so long it's getting a skin. Painting. Painting? Okay. While you make Painting. your drink sound disgusting. Gross. Yeah, right, so. Ugh. That's <laughs> what I get for leaving a cup of coffee on a warmer for two, three hours. <laughs> three hours at this point. No, because you refilled just before we started. Yeah, but I hadn't fully emptied it. Uh, okay. okay. It was more of a refresh. Okay. Yeah. It's great. Eww. Had the cream, the rum cream in there too. So. <laughs> it's all like it's, yeah, it's great uh sorry what was my word again painting painting yep. painting if for some reason you want to financially support these shenanigans you may do so at patreon.com slash northern it's podcast any level of support gets you access to our patron only discord server where we are active at all hours of the day and the night um getting attacked by my hair and we enable each other into uh, starting the things buying the things what is my hair my hair is fighting me today zen zen on the hair the hair is really annoying today okay. zen <laughs> yeah i'm with you and i'm sure sometimes we talk about painting bricks in there the painting bricks pattern I think that's a pattern by Stephen West. We definitely talk about that sometimes because somebody made socks, the painting bricks socks. Like and the blanket. Ago. And the shawl. And blanket. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. Painting in the Discord server. There you go. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to lean on this chair like it's a couch. Oh, somebody saved me from myself. Guys, as always, we super understand that budgets are a real life thing. If you can't financially support us on Patreon, liking, subscribing, and commenting and interacting with us on other social media platforms is a great way to show us what you're working on and helping to enable us into additional projects or new to us things. And boy, we like to be enabled. Mm -hmm. We've got some events and stuff upcoming and ongoing, as the case may be, because this is the place where we dump all the info. Info dump. Info dump. Info dump. We, we have, have the Spring Equinox Cal literally just started. Yes. The Equinox are seasonal knit with us, where we invite everybody to come in and knit a thing for yourself. Join us in the joy that is crafting. So this one's going to, the spring one runs till the summer solstice. Super easy. You can Google dates. We do have rules. There's been a little bit of change. So please check out the show notes at uh, www.northernitspodcast.com. Diana has them all written down there for you. She also has the hashtags there. So if you need to look up the spelling of a hashtag, that is where you will find it. The podcast anniversary wraps up at the end of the month, which will be the 31st. So just, just under two weeks. <laughs> just under two weeks so if you've been working on something with us since january to celebrate six years of podcasting uh now is the time to get that bad boy all finished up because we do have a prize for that we potentially a second prize Ooh, i'm unaware of a second prize this is exciting may have been talking to my daddy ah. about seeing if he might be willing to donate a handmade tea tray 
out of Ooh. reclaimed wood Can for I someone to have our own prizing <laughs> i'm not gonna finish in time anyway we all know this <laughs> no but you might be able to talk jocelyn into bringing one home with her at some point in the summer so you can have one to go home with you in the fall or christmas when you visit okay yeah we <laughs> I'm sure we can talk Daddy into into getting one for you. So make sure that those okay. entries are in. You have to use the hashtag podcast anniversary. Do we put a year on it? Yes, we did. <clears throat> yes, I believe it was NKP podcast anniversary 2023. Yeah. That way I know it's for this year's entry. <laughs> Versus I, any of the other entries. Any of the entries. Because we're not recording to the 2nd of April, technically you have an extra 24 hours in there. Because I won't go looking till the 2nd of April to pull for anything. Yeah. The other prize that we have is a wonderful uh, project bank donated by the amazing Tracy. Uh, she keeps the bag because letting me mail stuff is a bad idea. There are gremlins in the mail. Oh, God. We don't let me do it. We, do, we don't let me do it. So we just have it mailed out from other places. Just, just just works better that way guys so that's what's going on so one wrapping up one just started all the things whip sprints are happening this coming saturday those are a free content that we add out as we just add for fun on youtube so if you're free this saturday starting at new manitoba time for anywhere from three to five hours however long we feel like going uh we sit down and we literally take 25 minute chunks of time and we work on a project and then we put it down and we work on something else and we chat with each other in the YouTube chat and me and Dana obviously interact here uh, visually <laughs> as as we go through and do those sprints so we are hoping everybody will come and join us and have a sort of crafty afternoon we love the whip sprints Diana suggested it and it's just it's gone off gangbusters just so it's great it's so much gets so, done so much gets done so that's coming on this Saturday uh what else we got going on in april will be on the second the live episode will be on the second in april we're going to do a state of the whip update to do a sort of check-in to see where everything's sitting uh then we've got the patreon eat it in so if you join us on patreon five dollars a month and up gets you access to all of the base content and the discord like the base bonus content but anything at five bucks and up also gets you into the Patreon feed, which is when you get to just sit down and have a... It's, it's a Zoom at night with us. So it is. Yep. So the next one of that is April something? Oh, uh, gosh. Second when... last April? When's the second last Saturday in April? That one. Uh, that's, that's the April that happens. Oh my gosh, come on. Uh, the second last Saturday is the one where I have a wedding, so it won't be that one. We're doing it on the 15th, okay. I believe. Okay. We need to bump things around because Diana's got some travels and stuff going on. And we also I'm have sorry, a... somebody's getting married. <laughs> it happens, whatever, it's fine. Uh, I didn't plan it. <laughs> it's true, you don't. It's not yours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we have the other thing for the Patreons next month is the quarterly movie night got bumped because Diana was in Jamaica this month. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Also didn't plan that. <laughs> also didn't plan that. So we'll be Well, I could have planned that better. So we'll be we'll be doing that on a Saturday as well too. So I should check to see which person won. Patreon members, if you haven't voted, go vote. Go vote. So we'll be doing a watch party for that. So like lots of stuff is going on. Lots, lots of stuff is going on. We like to keep busy. Yes. Much content. Much content. Well, we enjoy it, so why not? Rather than just talking about it, let's actually do it. <laughs> things and stuff stuff and things but that's it i am out of things off the top of my head that i think we need to mention that sounds right perfect oh, when are you next live with louise not until the first thursday of april she's gonna be like the fifth sixth as i yeah. pull up a calendar real quick yeah sixth it'll be the sixth of april sixth yeah. of april yeah so no. we've got we've got some time which is good because we were late by a week because she broke her knee again. <laughs> Poor girl. Again, I I hate that Poor there's an girl. again in there. I just I'm like, oh, and I was so hoping it was the other knee, so at least it was like a new. No, it's the same knee. No, oh. it's the same. Oh my god. 
The she poor just, knee. The poor How knee. does she still have a knee? I don't. I just, I'm just like, oh, babe, that's gonna just, it's gonna hurt. But that's okay. Yeah. She became a grandmother this week. So her, her daughter is gave birth to a healthy baby girl. And mom's okay and the baby's okay. So she has lots that's of grandma wonderful. duty. So, and really at that I age. I imagine lot, there's lots of sitting on the couch, snuggling, very important duties. That's, that's the stage we're at. So it's perfect that she has to Fantastic. be sitting with her leg up. <laughs> That's perfect. Works great. So that works great, which means we're all done. We are. Sweet. I'm going to say until next week, I'm Jocelyn. And I'm Diana. And no matter where your week takes you, don't forget, don't forget to, knit. to knit. Diana needs to go for a walk, you guys. Oh my God. I'm like a hyperactive puppy. <laughs>